Welcome, I'm Kinetic Symphony, this is Dave. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the supernatural. Case file number 1880, written by Sarah Smashley. Dish is done, and a slap under the sun. I questioned my sanity last Tuesday when this happened. I woke up and started my morning as I always do. Let the dogs out to do their business, pull on some shorts and start watering all my flowers. I walked out onto my small stone porch and audibly said to myself, It's roomy out here without the table. The table is a 3 foot high by 2 feet wide by 3 feet long high top tiled table that I keep on my porch in the summers to cook on the outside to help keep the house cool inside. I had thrown a large barbecue for Labor Day weekend two days prior. So my SO moved the table out onto the driveway next to the grill for more surface space. That evening when cleaning up, he moved the table into the garage and made a comment that he was going to put it back out when he wasn't so tired. While doing the dishes Tuesday after the weekend was over, I went to put the grill spatula back by the grill in the garage and didn't see the table anywhere. I remember glancing around and thinking, where did he put that damn thing? and cursing him for probably placing his tools on it again in the back corner somewhere. My garage is enormous, so it's not out of the realm of possibilities that I would miss it. I'm standing in my kitchen with my door wide open, so the dogs can come back inside when they're done laying their fertilizer, doing dishes again. This is when I heard the sound. I can only equate it to a metal bang sound, roughly 12 feet from me. I turn around to go and investigate and see if my dogs are alright. Both are lying on the floor asleep. I walked out onto the porch and lo and behold, the table is there, albeit placed in an odd spot precariously on the edge of the stone steps. I picked it up and moved it against the wall so I could walk through. I looked around assuming my partner had stopped by on his way to one of his work locations and dropped the table off. He'll take stuff to work to fix sometimes because he has a big workshop there, but I don't see him anywhere. Not him, not his work truck, and the gate is still closed and padlocked shut. This will matter in a bit. I checked and the side door to the garage is still closed and locked. I'm stumped. I walk back inside and pick up my phone and call him to ask him where he's at. I don't see his work truck outside. He says he's at such and such at location three miles away. I explain the above, and he says, I put the table on the porch before I left at 4.30 this morning. I know what you're all thinking. You just didn't see it. You were so preoccupied that you ignored it. No, not possible. Because I pruned some dead leaves from a potted plant and turned to audibly note that the table wasn't there. I then walked through the space where it later appeared. This also rules out that I was hallucinating. I wouldn't have been able to walk through that space towards a compost bucket if, in my mind, I was just imagining it not being there. This led me to my next rational thought. Someone was attempting to burglarize me and put it back. The problems that lie in this notion are abundant. I couldn't miss a person awkwardly holding and attempting to steal this heavy high top table as I walked around for 20 minutes watering flowers. They simply would not have had the time to scale my tall and locked front gate or fence with said table. I also lived near a school on a narrow street and people were arriving. This person couldn't have gone unnoticed. The teachers would have called or shouted at me as they were directing morning traffic. Not to mention, navigating through my labyrinth of a courtyard silently with said awkward table and being unnoticed. Finally, the sound, it was weird. I literally have nothing to rationalize what the sound could or would have been. I'm at a loss. It was like it wasn't from this world. Case notes file 1880. Dish is done and a slap under the sun. I think the noise was simply the restoration of the table that was out of phase or de-rendered completely, but it had to be brought back, and I guess brought back quickly enough that it made a loud sound. Could even be a sonic boom from the air displacement. The air has to get out of the way if an object is de-rendered. I mentioned that before, but maybe there's some mechanism that the servers are able to employ 
to prevent the sound from either registering in our minds or simply not rippling out from the quick expansion of air in the surrounding area when an object is re-rendered in. Something like that. Maybe even the air itself re-renders with it. But then it would be a pocket of void which the air should go and rush in to fill if it is de-rendered. So I'm not sure how that works exactly. But I guess it's all mass. So in one way or another, the sound usually doesn't play. I'm guessing, unless they're in a rush to restore it. And in this case, that's what happened. Although, it would still have to be muted, because a sonic boom that close to glass would have shattered windows. Case file number 1881. Written by Sloth Eating Toast. Archery and Son. Puzzled by the Cable Guard's Run. When I was 19, not too long ago, I was working on an archery range at a scout camp for the summer. Both the scouts and parents were on the firing line shooting the compound bows we used. I was in charge of the range, which included the responsibilities of safety, inventory, maintaining the bows, etc. While the scouts and their parents were firing, and I was walking up and down the line behind them, out of the corner of my eye I saw a black plastic cable guard fall onto the ground and bounce in between a father and son firing their bows. A plastic cable guard is attached securely to a compound bow. It is wrapped around metal and at least two strings from the bow running through the cable guard. Without the cable guard, a compound bow would only be able to fire once or twice before breaking. And no compound bow that we had could hold more than one cable guard. When I saw the cable guard fall to the ground, I went over and picked it up. I asked the scout and his father to stop firing so that it could replace the bow that had the guard fall off of it. However, both the bows still had their cable guards attached. Every single bow on the firing line had a cable guard. Every single bow in the equipment shed also had a cable guard. At the start of the summer, I had taken inventory of all the equipment on the range, and this cable guard was unaccounted for, as there is no way for a bow to hold a second cable guard on it and I saw the cable guard fall to the ground. I am stumped on how this might have happened. Later in the day, I found the scout and his father that the guard had fallen in between, asked them if they knew where it came from, but they were unaware. It was nothing creepy or serious, but I still wonder occasionally about this. Case notes from 1881. Archery in the sun, puzzled by the cable guard's run. Getting a lot of duplication events these days. And it is the most common glitch, disappearance or duplication. I think um, duplication has seen an uptick in the last year and a half, since when I started reading these stories, they weren't very frequent. In fact, I remember it probably went months until I read a duplication event when I started this. But I had seen tons of de-rendered objects, disappearing object phenomena. I remember speaking about that term way back when, well before any duplication event, before the idea of stealing objects from different universes even came into play. But yeah, that's what happened, I think. In the Grand Multiverse Ocean, one just zipped over here, and just uh, washed ashore like you see objects <laughs> near the beach all the time, got caught in the current, and came here. Now time for the joke of the day. My ex-wife still misses me. But her aim is getting better. <laughs> You need to run, boy. Run. Like the video? Subscribe, hit the bell. Kinetic Symphony, signing off.